So in our last video we did ask which other person's training do you want to see next because we covered Jakob Ingebrigtsen in the previous video and the most common comment was David Redisha who for people who don't know is two-time Olympic champion in the 800 meters and also has the world record and is arguably one of the most dominant runners throughout history at any distance. Most of the information we have gathered for this video is from Sweat Elite and Google so if you do want to find out the information for yourself or read up on it we will post the links in the description below but Sweat Elite is where the most information has come from. David Rudisha's coach was Colm O'Connell and he has coached 25 world champions and four Olympic gold medalists and his main training methodology is he prefers to train off feel rather than set pace numbers. And some more brief insight into Radisha's group as a whole, they did fairly low mileage with a maximum of 55 miles a week and often a lot less than that. The longest run Radisha did was 12k or around 50 minutes and most shockingly the longest rep he had ever done on the track is 800 meters which is a very rare occurrence. Another insight is that recovery in workouts is hardly ever set, it's usually walk 200 meters or 3 to 4 minutes ish. The emphasis is listen to your body rather than a set time for a recovery. So before we get on to like a, an example week, I just want to briefly say he does a ton of stretching, around 30 to 40 minutes per day, sometimes more, and that's the whole group and also they'll do quite a lot of drills each day and strides. We've been lucky enough to receive a watch and a running pod from Core Ross to test out and since it is the Kipchoge edition we thought it'd be fair to mention it in today's video as we look at a fellow Kenyan athlete's training. I just want to emphasise we haven't been paid to say this and a full in-depth review is on our website. So in our opinion Core Ross has by far the most accurate GPS tracking as well as the longest battery life we have ever experienced in a GPS watch. Not to mention the Pace 2 edition is the lightest running watch on the market. This new specific colorway represents the Kenyan red and green and comes with a Core Ross pod which is extremely useful to look at metrics such as stride imbalances which helps you assess your running economy. This special edition is only available for a limited time so be sure to check the link in the description to get yours. And again I want to emphasize Coros is by far the best GPS running watch on the market. So this is an example of Radisha's training in a week. This is during a transition between base period and racing period so we saw that middle ground and I did get this from Sweat Elite. So on Monday at 6.30 a.m it's an easy run and at 10 a.m it's a steady run and at 4 p.m. it's a warm-up run, stretching and core. On Tuesday, it's a track workout, typically at 800 meter pace or faster. For example, 10 times 200 meters in 23 or 24 seconds with three or four minutes walk, 200 meter recovery. On Wednesday, it's very similar to Monday, 6.30 a.m. easy run, 10 a.m. 30 minutes of diagonals, and 4 p.m. warm-up, stretching and plyometrics. So plyometrics, if you don't know, it's sort of bounding and like hurdle drills. Thursday at 9am it's a 20 to 25 minute high run. Maximal effort or 20 to 30 minute of fartlek. For example, 7 times 2 minutes hard, 1 minute jog. On Friday again, it's a 6.30am easy run. 10am steady run. 4pm run warm up, stretching and drills. On Saturday, it's a track workout, typically endurance based. This is between 800 pace and 3k pace. For an example, it's 4 times 600 meters in 129 to 130 and 4 times 400 meters in 54 to 55 seconds. Walk 200 meters recovery in 2 to 3 minutes. Sunday is a rest day, they never run on Sundays. A little bit about Radisha's diet is well managed with a mix of proteins, carbohydrates, and vegetables. There is minimal junk food available in Kenya and very few processed foods. So everything is fresh. His diet remains the same throughout the year, only the quantities change. He's also never had any supplements or sports drinks or protein, and that applies for the whole of his group. And during racing season, more speed would be added into easy days, such as long strides, and more emphasis is added to drills. So that is all the information we have on David Radisha's training. Let us know your thoughts and what you found most interesting about this, and also comment which athlete you want us to do next. Please like, subscribe, and check out Koros in the description.